Welcome to Weekly Gaming. I'm your host, Kithis, and this week's game is Dog Sled Saga. It actually looks like the type of game I'm going to want to keep playing afterwards. Um, can we have a tutorial? Press and hold anywhere. Release to throw. Feed the panting dog. Okay. Out of food. Restock. Oh. I missed. Tap three times. Wow. Okay. Tap dog repeatedly to untangle. Drag dog forward to reduce slack. Okay. Career. Musher license. Select a musher. I'm this guy. I, I have to be this guy. Yes. Okay, what is going on? Welcome to Mount St. Something. Today I moved to Mount St. Something. A new start for me in the dog sledding capital of the world. An old family friend invited me to be the new resident musher at the, fi at the fire Fireball Kennel. I'm here alone tonight, but tomorrow I'll meet my team. And Raleigh will introduce me to the basics of dog sledding. I think I just was. Oh, we got Yoshi. He's obedient. It's coal. Uh, he's strong. I have to pick three from this. Vouchers remaining three, and this button says higher. I just read that. Okay. Nagito. Okay. Yoshi's a girl. Gizmo is a girl. Nagito is a boy. Ritz is a girl. Kalua. Lots of girls. Go away. So Cole and Nagito are the only boys on the roster. Hmm. A schnauzer. I don't think a schnauzer is going to be that useful with dog sledding. Alright, um, let's hire Ritz. Oh, I can, I can get that customized. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, but it has to be... Team Ritz. Replaced by Finn. Another husky. Okay, let's bring on Finn. Yep. There we go. Who else do we have? Um, let's bring in Arden. Because Huskies. Gotta love Huskies. I don't actually know that much about dogs.
I hit him in the head, I'm sorry! Okay. Four dogs. What a jerk. Yesterday, some jerk sprayed snow all over me while I was learning the ropes with Raleigh and my new team. Anyway, there's a race today, and I think I should see how I do. Weather is clear. Challenge League average team size three dog first place winning is 400 length medium snow quality flawless restocks excessive yay no wind two obstructions and two track foilage what's track foilage do we race Rally told me I he thinks Ritz would make a good middle dog However, our hover and empty part of Ritz's car is not lined up. Click and hold to grab the card. Drop the card in the middle position. Okay. Snow quality flawless, exhaustion rate zero, average time to hunger. They're not that exhausted. Experience in wheel, middle, and lead. Aptitude, quality to gain specialty. Personality is a clue to aptitude. So, oh, so I shouldn't have gotten all the same personality. Hmm. Skill level zero. Happiness, good. Favorite thing. I don't don't know any of that yet, but it looks intriguing. Who's panting? So I guess I just keep throwing treats. Perhaps rapid fire treats is not the best option. In second place. Hmm. Um, I'm sorry for not talking. I'm just concentrating really hard on what they need. I got second. No, oh, first! I pulled out first at the end. Woo! Okay, that was close. All right. 
Alright. Oh. Oh. Because I had trouble feeding Ardent. Okay, but what's the actual red block do? Okay. Today is my first day off, so I need to decide a regimen for my dogs. Click the regimen button in the top right. Click the task in the top left to change it. I can choose to do caretaking with my god with my dogs to alleviate their fatigue quickly, or I can train them to boost their skill warm up. Um, give extra attention to your dogs to reduce their fatigue or train the dogs. I'm going to train them because I don't think they're that fatigued. I can pick which dogs to participate or stay home to the right of the task button. Idle dogs will get a little rest. When I'm ready, the proceed button will advance to the next day. Arden is a bit fatigued, so we'll let him rest. Proceed. Did his skill go down? That's not good. again. Proceed. Skill up, skill up. Now put them back in and just see what happens. days until the race, so now we care for our dogs. We lose fatigue and skill. Oh, the red block is long-term fatigue. Weather clear night. Challenge League average two, minus two, three dogs, short, flawless snow, excessive restocks, one foliage, one obstruction. Experience in middle, one race. really exhausted yet. Yeah, let's switch Arden and Finn. Like that. Start?
Alright, I'm first, but what was that Yelp about? Okay, we did <laughs> fairly decent here. What's this? for these dogs. Just did a race. We'll care for them. Oh. Raleigh started to tell me about a famous dog named Aurora. He said she was the reason dog sledding became so popular in Mount St. Something. What is this? Nothing about nothing. That story. Hmm. Clearly, I missed a few days in there. Oh, they took pictures. Ask Raleigh about it. If cool things happen during a race, cameras from the crowd will flash and your dogs can get famous. Famous, famous dogs attract sponsors. Cool. My dog was breathing really hard. Watch your dog's breathing to anticipate their hunger. If they're breathing heavily, they're getting tired fast. Food will help them out. Sometimes when I feed... Timey feels perfect. When you feed a dog right when they really need it, You'll know that the timing was perfect. They'll get a brief speed boost, increased skill chance, and progress towards leveling up fatigue capacity. My dog started to run slow. When dogs get hungry, their speed will drop and your sled will slow down. Toss them food to liven them up. Dog got tangled in the tow line. If there's too much slack in the on the tow line in front of them, dogs may get tangled and slow down severely. When this happens, click them repeatedly to give them the order to untangle themselves. Yeah, dog. If you see your dogs get happy about something, you just found their favorite thing. This is one way to increase their happiness besides resting. I can help you put a finger on each dog's favorite thing if you're observant with them. Ardent yelped and looked sad. When your dogs yelp, their unique fault just occurred. They might do something mischievous during a race. Keep them in good happiness to quell their faults. Give a dog a rest if they're too unhappy. I can help you put a finger on each dog's fault if you're observant with them. Hmm. My dog seems fatigued. Rough races can cause dogs to gain fatigue. Light fatigue goes away quickly with rest and dogs don't mind it. Deep fatigue is gained if all light fatigue slots are filled. It takes more rest and causes the dog's happiness to go down. Fatigue capacity goes up with perfect catches. How do I maintain my dog's happiness? Dogs will naturally have good happiness. Dogs will get unhappy if they have deep fatigue or a few other reasons. Enjoying their favorite things will make their happiness go up for a while. Happiness affects how often a dog's fault may occur. 
My dog seems to have certain personalities. There are three main personalities a racing dog can have. Their personality is a clue to their aptitude for each line position. You can't know for sure if they're natural for a position, but you can rule out the position they'll struggle with. Ah, my dog is doing well in a certain position. Your dog should develop a specialty for certain positions. In their specialty positions, dogs won't get tired as quickly. Depending on their aptitude, their specialty will increase with experience. So I screwed myself over by getting all dogs with the same personality. My bad. Ritz is a white husky. Well, no shit. A husky variety with white fur and gray saddleback markings. Finn is a husky. <sighs> yep. Nothing to ask. Okay. Let's rest them again. Quick errands. Change league or enter qualifying race. Hire dog, expand kennel, manage dogs. Um, customize sled, absolutely. There we go. Breeding. Oh, uh, the Kickstarter backers. Okay. Okay. We will care for the dogs. This is probably going to go horribly. Sponsor off. Level one food bag. The popularity of your team with dog sledding fans has attracted the attention of a sponsor. Hmm. Effects increase food bag capacity to seven. Okay. Okay, until I know better. This weather is snowy, challenge, league average minus two, excessive restocks, it's short, no win, race. All right, let's get it done. Watching the dogs. Foilage do, does it blocks my things. Pulled second. Shame. Oh well. Not bad winnings. So how do I get rid of that fatigue? Oh. Getting famous.
Middle specialty. Ah. Oh, they're getting a rapport with each other. Ritz has become a specialist in middle. Gotta do something about that fatigue. The sponsor approached me about my team. If cool things happen during a race, cameras in the crowd will flash. And your dogs can get famous. Famous dogs attract sponsors. Ritz has a favorite thing that I don't recognize. Ritz's favorite thing is placing up. She will get a happiness boost from passing other teams. Oh, okay. I want to rest them so that the deep fatigue can go down, but... I don't think there's enough time between races. Ooh. This is going to be a bit of a harder one. We race! Uh, they're a bit exhausted. Does switching them help? No. Fen, keep the lead. Okay, Finn? What happened there, buddy? We're not doing too good here. second. Arden, what's wrong? Hmm. It's a deep capacity, yep. Yeah. Lead specialty. Hmm. 
so what happened to Ardent? Raleigh told me more about the historic dog Aurora. He said she first appeared one night at a man's cabin deep in the wilderness on the night of the Northern Lights, hence the name. Raleigh said the man tended to describe it as mysterious. So I'm just going to quickly see if he has anything to say about those faults. Finn has a fault that I didn't recognize. Finn has the bottomless pit fault. When his fault kicks in, he will be overwhelmed by insatiable hunger. Ah, that's what I noticed. Arden has a fault. Arden has the bad catch fault. When his fault kicks in, he will lose all mouth-eye coordination. <sighs> but they don't have that when they're happy. But skill. Well, I'm going to leave this here. That's a, it looks like they just keep repeating. Which... This game looks... It plays really fun. It's a nice management. And with these quick errands here... It looks like there's a lot... Lot to... Oh. Yeah, you can move up in leagues. You can manage your team. Staff. Employee slot available at League 3. You got your sponsorships. You can ex hire dogs, expand the kennel. Breeding. Let's, let's try breeding real quick. need five dogs on team. Oh. I don't have five dogs on team. You can build more. Of course, it's all about this money involved. Which I think... League expenses. Okay, so... That's bills having to be paid and... Yeah, it looks like a nice little dog sled management. I'm going to play more of this in my off time, just because it's a fun game. I'm going to really... It, it looks like it's got a lot to dig into, and I'm just... Not enough to show off the all of it on this... On this brief little encounter. But, fun game. I'm going to keep playing. I hope you play it, too. Hope everyone... Just keep having fun. Life is meant to be fun. Peace out.